Good afternoon, everyone. This is truly climate science meeting the insane asylum. Arizona scientists devise 500 billion U.S. dollar plan to refreeze the Arctic polar cap. Yes, that's half a trillion U.S. dollars. Bad timing. 400 plus icebergs invade the North Atlantic shipping lanes, driving traffic 650 kilometers south to avoid the icebergs. All the while, passenger ferries stuck in the ice in Nova Scotia and record snowfall across Anchorage plus Greenland, continuing record ice growth. And while you're watching the video, please remember to subscribe to Adapt 2030. And thank you to all my Patreon supporters. This video is brought to you by the links that you sent me asking me for more information. Here you go. Hope you enjoy it. And if there weren't enough ways that the IPCC and the entire climate change body is wasting our money and trying to get more of your tax dollars, now they have a plan to refreeze the Arctic, building 10 million wind-powered pumps over the Arctic ice cap. Price tag, half a trillion dollars. And they think that they can increase the ice coverage and thickness by doing this. And I love how the article continues, this outlay may become necessary if we want to halt the calamity that faces the Arctic. No, the calamity that faces us as a species is our food growing that's gonna be lost during this grand solar minimum. We could use this 500 billion to revamp our entire food growing production systems on this planet. We can do an enormous amount of preparation for the mini ice age agricultural losses with this money but what terrible timing to release an article like this 400 plus icebergs the same size even larger that sunk the titanic invading the northern atlantic shipping lanes i mean these things are so large that they're actually sending shipping traffic 400 miles or 650 kilometers south that's adding at least 24 to 48 hours on the delivery times they're using more fuel this is just another one of those Little indicators that the grand solar minimum is intensifying and it is going to affect your life. So if you're delivering food by these ships that are rerouted, you're going to pay more. Let's take a look through the Twitter feed. NL Iceberg Report. Fascinating. Thank you. Whoever's running this feed, thank you for putting this up. I just found it and I think it's an amazing job that you're doing there. Some images here. These icebergs are pretty large. Now, a lot of these are photographed from shore, but wow, these things are huge. Still got some pack ice out there. Some of those have broken free straight into the shipping lanes. And remember, when you're looking at an iceberg, you're only seeing one-tenth of it above the water. It's 90% larger underwater. And when you see massive bergs like this in the open ocean going through the shipping lanes, I can see why they're diverting. Now, some of these in Pit Cove are stuck on the bottom already. It, literally, what you're seeing is above the water, but the rest of it is so deep that it's dragging bottom on the cove. Also, some more open ocean and pack ice shots for you here. NASA, close up. And the density of the ice coming in Nova Scotia as well. The pack ice is trapping the ferry. And we got some bergs in there. No scale on this one, but it looks pretty large. Let's go back to 2015. They had icebergs washing up as far south as Cape Cod. But there weren't as many and it didn't divert ship traffic back then. So I'm saying it's an uptick this year in the berg count. Let's make a bet. There's going to be icebergs further south than Cape Cod this year, watching up on the beaches coming up about the next month, month and a half. Jumping back to St. John's, our favorite record-breaking snowfall capital of Newfoundland. Talking about a hard punch out through the ice. This brings us right off to that same region right now where the Atlantic Ferry carrying 209 passengers has been stuck for the last couple days. Cape Breton Island, over to the far right, the lighter green there, just north of Halifax. Image here of the satellite view, that very bright white is the sea ice that's jamming up in the bays and waterways. Now the Motor Vessel Highlanders is nearly free. They've been trying to get it out there. They have another icebreaker that's trying to escort this thing out. And then we need to jump over to Anchorage on the other side of North America. What's happening? Record snowfall. 8.8 .8 inches, but the previous was 3.4 inches. So it more than doubled the previous record snowfall set in 2001. Now, if it would have been set in like 1886 or something, but you start to get these records that are all lumping up within the last 15 years. It starts to show a trend. And then we jump over to Greenland. 
where you've been told ice is melting. It's not. This is from the Danish Meteorological Institute, DMI. Absolutely breaking records on ice growth, which is completely the opposite to what they're feeding you in the news right now. Thanks for watching. Hope you got something out of the video. And thank you to my Patreon supporters who sent me the links asking me these questions about the icebergs this time of the year and the same events two years ago. Here's your answer.